the hunter call the wild let's wait a few more minutes make sure that we got everybody in um, I'm hunting in uh, Medved Tyaga we're going to take out two wild boars and we're going to get a hog collar it's better when you can use the scent so I'm going to just go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and take off some of these lures get rid of some of the weight I'll just get them as I go and I think I got a tree stand that's all I'm going to probably need yeah yeah so that's all I'm going to need really yeah oh I think I'm going to switch to the 30 out 6 I don't know I, I kind of like the 30 out 6 my friends I don't know I have more bullets also have them 7 mil but I'm going to save it for the big rowdy looking critters so with that being said, welcome to the Hunter Call of the Wild. We're going to do the boar harvest. Uh, you got to take out two boar. And uh, we're going to go. I, I always like to kind of go over here. Now you can switch back and forth. Uh, you can go right from here up. But you might want to mark it before you go. So, uh, you know, if we go over there, well, we, we could, I don't know. That's kind of straight at it. So let's go right up here and see what happens. Now you can use the tree stand. I do like the tree stand in this area. It seems to work better. The tree stand in med bed. I think tree stands work better in med bed. That's on the caribou, reindeer, whatever you want to call them. So here's Rip Bisbee Bay. So let's just go ahead and switch to that. I, I kind of like that tree stand. Uh, it's a little lighter. One thing about it and it's a little funner to use you know it ain't as heavy i don't think uh equip our some of our weapons we're gonna put that right here we're gonna equip our 30 out six rounds and i'm gonna go ahead and put the accent sight on it and we're gonna go ahead and hook the wild boar call right up because that's the only thing we're gonna that's the only thing we're gonna be using really so with that being said we're gonna head right into here Now I kind of like to take a loop up through here. Now there is collectibles, but I ain't gonna do the collectibles. Uh, if you would like, if you would like a paper, you can go online and find all the telemetry. Now what I'm talking about telemetry, you see the numbers down there, 103.02.392. That's your location, and that telemetry has left. The first one has something to do with your horizontal shift. All right. So, up and down deals with your second one. So, I just thought I'd let you know that little tidbit. Uh, a lot of people hasn't explained it. And, and when you're looking for things, like if someone says something's 102 something, you need to buy, you know, point 20, 30, something like that. That means you're, that's your area. So... It's out of the area anyhow. I can't worry about that. Man. But that being said, I might go ahead and hunt right here. Put it in a stand. See if I can go ahead and hunt right here for a little bit. And just show you the tree stand. Oh yeah. You see all the green areas? That's where we're gonna be able to hunt. I like this tree stand here because it's really high. Uh, put it like right. You, you know, you ought to be kind of uh, you ought to be kind of grateful here because they shouldn't smell you. You know it. Just this high up. back there I don't know how many missions will get done yeah they're smelling me
sometimes they'll just hang out there and just b spout, run their mouth at you. I'd say he's right over there somewhere. Before we begin, let's check our, yeah. Blue's a good... I try not to hunt caribou and all that, and moose and all that, because it just distracts from when you're trying to play. You could put a rattler up there in case you want to, you know, I think all they've done was smell me is all. But if I see that pig out there somewhere, I don't think I won't take a lucky old Hail Mary shot at it. Uh, cause I don't know it might be out of range so you see I can't shoot nothing past here so yeah I can't shoot nothing past there if it if it's past there I lose I don't get no shot so what we're gonna do we're just gonna leave this area now all you do is look up to your tree stand and it's, you can take it out just like that so we don't want to pull with that we're just gonna run kind of like over in here uh, be the safest thing to do kind of look the area over oh so there's probably them pigs right there uh, yeah you know I could get up here and might be able to call them in if I get above them that might be them that might be the pigs there's usually a herd of three or four pigs that you got to, and you can keep calling them in hunting them so you can see how the blue really shows up nicely on the uh, yeah that's them oh no that's a Rasmus Rasmus cat that's a hot cat that's a kitty cat I've never had one attack me like she claims Elena, Elena claims she said be very careful around these animals because they're liable to attack you I think she's full of beans oh, that's just a must here I'm not worried about him I don't want to get sidetracked on other animals not really hello welcome to the stream we're on the boar harvest we're looking for the boars the boars the boars then then we're gonna then later on we'll be doing the boars are back in town of course so you, you got to keep in mind where you're at you don't want to ever go too far so go down here and then you can kind of go this way if you want if the wind's good or you can go back and go a whole different route until you run into the pigs so usually they'll give out a that's that cat they're pretty fun to hunt. I like to bow hunt them. So yeah, you know, that makes it interesting. Now you can make a different color, I mean. You can make a pretty nice color. You can, uh, you can make a uh, green even. Yeah, a green shows up pretty nicely in this snow. As long as it ain't too sunny, the only bad thing is when it's really sunny. Some of the air, some of the areas don't show up too too nice. Just keep that in mind. When the sun's shining, it's really hard to see tracks. Uh, I like this map. It's one of my favorite max maps because they really put a lot of time in it, and it's one of the first maps they released, pre-released. And it seems like after this map, I like Berhanga, Savannah, the Africa map. But it seems like after that, it, it, it just, you know, I don't know. It just don't seem, see, there's an ant, there's, I'm not going to worry about that skull. You know, see, and I wish you could put things here. So there's a skull here. So I'll get it later. I'm not worried about them right now. They're cave line skulls. Uh, I'm gonna hunt them with my friend when we get to come online. Uh, hunt them with her because she helps me out a lot. And that's one of them stupid Siberian musk deer. So we'll get out here about 150 yards. 
uh, got a little ways to go. I have killed pigs here at times. I've heard them in this area. So we can kind of come out here and look around. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can't put it up here. Come on. All right, increase and increase your visibility. Less honey pressure into the area than Meg killed outside of honey. Yeah, the only bad thing is I wish it would cover your scent too because lo logically, when you're in a tree stand, your scent is above the animal, so that it should it shouldn't play it shouldn't play a big havoc on hunting, bow hunting, and hunting. So I think they would should cut your smell down a whole lot. I mean significantly better than the scent because it meant imagine if you're 30 feet up your scent is blowing way above animal I've actually had deer all around me now if you get on up that hill way a good bit like up there say the wind's blowing out of the west now they might smell me like you know the deer might smell me right over there straight away from me or up the hill a little bit in this area but they wouldn't smell me if they walked by right here you know what I mean like 30 40 yards out they wouldn't smell me or 30 40 meters 50 meters you know because that's about thir about 60 meters over there they could smell me you know say like right now you know it's realistic if the wind's blowing from the west what i'm saying i just wish they would do that there wouldn't be nothing wrong with it at all and the tree stand's pretty cool you can move maneuver around a little better on it Tripod, the good thing about tripod, you can just spin around on it like a spinning, spinning ground. And, and also, it depends on the time, but it's pretty good. It's 8-11, that's a good time for the, uh, that's a good time for these wild, these wild boar. Now, see how the wind's blowing down to there? It, once you get done here, you can teleport here. You could teleport here and run up to here, this area, and hunt up through here. See, see how the wind's blowing like that way? That means you can go. Well, it's kind of blowing like right up through here. Yeah, it's blowing right down this way. So actually, you could go in this blind. Your scent's blowing this way, so. Or you could just go back and run down here and go up through here out in this area. Let's try it another. Let's try something else. So, like I say, this can be a whole thing here. It could really be a whole stinking. Uh, it could be a whole map. Maybe I will go down here and hunt up this way. Maybe I will. That, that sounds plausible. You know, especially if I can see my marker and I can head to it, and the wind's blowing in my face. It might be a pretty good idea. The boars like some of them water lake waves. They like to bed or uh, sleep around them. So yeah, the wind ain't too bad here. We'll head to one of the lakes and look around a little bit, see if there's any boar around it. And we'll try to, I'll try to complete at least one of these, this mission here. Remember last time we found Gunther dead. We killed a deer for him and then we found him dead. He ate anthrax infested, infested, uh, infested disease deer. The dum dum. We'll get out. Oh, see, there's something. See it over there? I don't want to disturb it. Though.
did sound like another one up the hill there. that caribou. I'm not even in the right area, so see, and that's what you gotta be careful of too. That you're not in the right area, you know what I mean? So if you don't get in the right area, you're not gonna kill nothing, cause this is the wrong place to be. And we'll go out here and see if that mule deer is hit very good, or that reindeer is hit very good. We'll look when we get up here ways. Yeah, we gotta at least go Oh, we got to at least go up into here in this area before we can even be in the region to hunt in. It's out of the lake. We'll go up here and see if this deer is bleeding, Annie. He was a pretty good long way, so. Like, this will probably be the only video I get in today. And then again, I may do it off stream because it is a little bit tit. little tough. You know? It's a little iffy because sometimes things don't work out right on this map so you know unfortunately so there's that hit on that deer right there I don't think I've seen him really yeah I didn't hurt him didn't kill him at all we didn't do no damage. Oh, there's something. So there he goes, right there. So I don't think I hit him good enough. Yeah, I did. So now we're in the area. So uh, you know you're gonna want to run up this way. And see the wind ain't too good. The wind shifts so much in this cold weather. It's kind of a pain in the neck. You want to dang true. Of course, you can always circle around, come in from this direction. We could we could try that. Let's let's actually go toward this green thing here. I think that's a tree stand. And then we'll just turn left and head that way. It ain't too far we gotta go. I see a couple pigs over here. I like the spotting characteristic on them when you get it available for the gun you might want to purchase it it's in the uh, perks on the rifle I think it's uh, hmm, where is it I don't think it's that one hmm alright it's probably in a skill point ambusher yeah there it is uh, nope yeah, right here it is. So when you get this tier two unlocked, that that'll let you switch and let you spot animals with your scope. So, but you know, you know that probably by now. You don't need me to tell you. Just a little heads up on the game. That way you can make it more entertaining for you. 
more better I wish they would add about 30 40 levels and add about 20 different skill levels points they could at least give you a skill point ever a 20 extra skill points and 40 extra levels or more or they can give you 40 you know they can give you max out let you pick and choose whatever you want I mean I don't know why all this is big deal you ought to be able to be a fishing hunter that way you ought to earn it you know what I mean instead of people putting you you know oh you can't do that so I don't know right, let's see where we are I ain't quite there let's go down here and look at this thing I kind of like looking at some of these things, see what they are. It could be tree stands, it could be certain little uh, items. And every little thing you grab, I think when you get to about 50, it'll, yeah, if it's a tree stand, so. See, it ain't that important. So we can kind of, we can head now, kind of like down this way here. See, now, now the wind's kind of a little better in our favor. And maybe them pigs is actually snuck back over here since they were I figure they were coming toward this area so you just kind of got to watch for them it'll take you maybe several times to do it sometimes it takes you a day or two to do this and it's a grind sometimes you just got to keep going back and forth changing the times to the evening about 1500 change everything change your date to daytime noon's not very good but try to set it up for like you know different time and listen for pigs hollering over there and they you know or making mating calls that they just grunt, guttural grunts you know what I mean so yeah so we'll see what happens here sometimes what I do is I'll uh, oh Sometimes what I like to do is uh, hunt offline while I'm not streaming. Then I just show you where I killed them and give you an idea of where they were and kind of tell you like a little story, you know. So sometimes that works out better. Cause sometimes when you're streaming, everything can go wrong or everything can go not right. Now, I figured them pigs ran off a little bit. So, I kind of figure they're right over here. That's why I'm kind of hunting. Those pigs could have came over here. They very well could have. I've never seen very many bears in here, but they are. Oh, uh, big moose. Yeah. I should have known it was one of them. Let's try it. 
Trying to give a couple pig calls now. See if we can't. They may be right over in there. Pigs are bad about suckling downwind too. Only thing is, when you're really close to the line here, you gotta be very careful you don't kill the pig outside. You're just inside the area here. You know? So, see, you could get out of the area real quick. And that would be a bummer. So, what you're looking for is pig tracks going into the uh, hunting area. Now, if we can see where they went back in, we'll, we'll be good. We can actually track them for a little bit and maybe call them in and shoot them with a bow. Then hurry up and switch to the gun and zap them with a gun to boot. Yeah. They may have. They may have come on in. Because they're wanting to come in this area anyhow, you know. Kind of keep an eye on this area. Not quite there, but like right here. Just kind of keep an eye on it. You know them pigs were in here earlier. You're going to see their tracks. Somewhere up there by that pine. That's my guess. That's how I, I figure it. And if I don't see the tracks, I'm going to be kind of shocked. Yeah, there's the tracks right there, see? So they may have came on in. That's a rascal smoke. Huh. What the heck's going on? You gotta be kidding me. I know I'm good. Right up there's a first cave saber tooth area it's the hunter it's this one right here we won't I don't think we'll do any of them online I'm sorry I think it's this oh it's uh I ain't unlocked it yet but I, I'm not gonna do it until it unlocks I think I gotta go a little ways before it unlocks now here's some tracks let's see what these are that could uh, that could be that stupid uh, now that could be pigs there's a lot of them Nope, it's that darn cat. Huh. Well, there are some tracks. Well, little sticks, man. Man. I won't go down in here. For some reason, for some reason that, uh, remember in pigs, I couldn't find our tracks. But looky here, here's a whole bunch of animals. So, that's kind of cool. We'll see what they are. That's a stupid sub beer and must deer. Other Erasmus wings. Son of a gun. What's going on? Looky there. That's a roe deer. Look. 
Sometimes you'll look and see pigs just laying everywhere. I don't see anything. But I do see that lynx. I've been I've been playing this game before, look around, see all kinds of animals. Look, there's a big moose. I'll leave him for another day. Uh-huh. Okay. I'll just kind of turn around go around him. I don't need to mess with him. He's he's big. I mean I got I don't have, really have the gun to take him down. I have a seven mil though. I see there's one reindeer area. So hopefully we can find a pig. That's one of them stupid deer. Unbelievable. I think this time I'm going to go all the way to the... I think I'm going to go all the way to this area right here. I just think I'm... I just need to. I need to explore a little bit. Find out why everything's going so sour. Maybe we'll hear some pigs and we can hunt them. Yeah. Hmm. Sometimes you can go down here and call in some pigs from that other area. You just want to make sure you're about 50, 60 yards inside there. I'll put a marker inside the yellow orange area and just come back upwind here from the area and put a stand up then you can call them into the area and make sure they're in the area before you shoot them is all I can tell you yeah. I've actually even jumped up on these rocks I've actually jumped up on these rocks like this and called them in let's try it Let's, let's go down here to this rock and do it. Might be pigs right there. Uh, what's this? Might be a herd of pigs. And there are lynx. And them things are thick. I'll go down to this rock here and call. That's a bunch of links. One thing about it too, you, some of these boar will attack you. Well, maybe we'll go down here to this rock. This rock's better. Yeah, so see, you can see all around. Yeah. Oh yeah. All except when you move, you kind of. See, you're 200 and some yards from the line. And of course, you got to remember the line's right over here next to you, about 120 yards. So keep that in mind, you know. So you don't want to be blasting at a pig, a wild boar, clean over there by that tree, see? So you want to let them at least get in here. Let them get as close as you can. I like it when you get the pig spray. It seems to call them in a lot better. But the 30 out 6 is definitely take a wild boar out.
of course remember I told you last time if you call calling you won't see no animals from this way the only thing you'll see from this direction is warning calls and they'll flee because the wind is blowing this way right this way from east to west up there it's free everything up there is free roam maybe right here would be better I have caught them off that ridge pigs, wild boars. Uh oh, see? Well when it starts saving down there on the left hand side it could be uh could be a sign that it's uh spawning animals. At least that's what the saying is. So we'll go down to here at least. Look at that place. Okay, then we'll come back up. Like I say, then again, it may just may just have to say, "Hey, I to do it offline." I've been actually sitting here and running and had them call. Get real close to one and have to get back in the out of the area. So here's something. Probably one of them little deer. Yeah, it's one of them stupid deer. There's pigs down here. There's something there. We'll go look and see what it is. 50 yards, we'll see what it is. Probably tr one of them uh, location things. I'll pop it. I'll I'll uh, grab it if it is. It ain't, so no worries. All right, we'll just go out this way, looking around. Reindeer, caribou, whatever you want to call it. See, we're just moving right along here. I guess I could go up and see what that is. Yeah. That's, um, I don't know. It can be tough to go on these missions. I'll, I'll put it that way. It may be something I do offline. And you know, sometimes it works. Some of these missions work don't work very good while you're streaming. Unfortunately, I don't know why. Kind of a bummer. There's a lot of collectibles in this map. If that's a collectible site, I'll grab it. Oh, it's a point of interest, so I'll definitely grab that because that's 80 XP or so. Yeah, so. Yeah. Oh. Go two hundred yards. I know the reindeer like this stick stuff, but the boars do too, you know. Now, if the boars were out here, they'd smell me and they'd start warning.
Let's see what that is. There seems to be a little pond here. Ah, right there. So. No, I don't think it's rude at all. <laughs> Something else. Use the moose around his legs, so just saying, you know. Just saying, it's all. So you see how I hunt this area. I just move around, keep hunting, keep moving in the area and trying to find different angles to look around for stuff, sign. Now when you find our tracks, you can pretty much know where they're going. Because if you track them a little ways, you can find feeding zones and stuff. And of course, if you hear them, give that warning sign. All I gotta do is get in a tree stand or, as long as you're not in a flat area, kind of use the trees maybe. Right here. I will. Oh, pig, see? Just like that, man. Come on, man, don't fail me now. So maybe I can get this done now. The boar's back. That'll be just part three. So they're probably about right there. Yeah, somewhere in there. There's one. I was going to say, I hope we don't freaking mess that up. Oh, he did. Dead pig. There's one. 
he down. There's one down, so there's probably more than one here. Yeah, he's down there as well. Is there another one here? Oh wow, so... Nice shooting, but don't get cocky, Ditya. You'll need to harvest another ball before the pack runs off. This area is right here below this area. I could probably call man. Said there was ten pigs in this area. So they're all going that way, see. I see something over there. See, they went to there. I hope they don't come from that direction. I'd say they're right up there. So the thing about need zones also, this is a need zone and it's very important to them. So that they will come back in time. So as you can see here, this need zone is a area that they, uh, 7.30 to 11. This is where they've been hanging. They're different, everybody's map's different. So, there went something. See it behind that pine tree right there. Something just went right. Oh, there he is. See, I was right. Look at him. Pig, pig. I'm going to shoot this one above. Oh, hell, here. Yeah. just like that that's pretty cool that's it that's the end of it my friends just like that don't forget to be careful because these pigs will attack you okay so that's pretty good take out pigs just like that right through there yeah nice there it is what a hunt I'm sure the Mazdir would thank you for keeping the boar away from their food. The resources are extremely limited in the taiga. Not just for you and me, but especially for the animals. I remember this area. When the environment is stable, nature has a way of balancing these things. Unfortunately, the environment is now changing so rapidly that nature can't catch up. So 4200 for the boar harvest. So what's the next mission? of Varot of Pazemnimir, a.k.a. the gateway to the underworld. <laughs> yes, that is the real name or a real place. I'm not kidding you. I guess we could do that one, can't we? Go check in on the outpost. We could do a couple more, couldn't we? 
I mean, so what if, if it's going to take us a little extra ta time? So let's do at least two more. So you're probably wondering, what is this gateway to the underworld? Is Aliena sending me to hunt demons and armies of darkness? No, I'm sending you to investigate permafrost. Remember that permafrost is a subterranean layer of ice. Rapidly thawing permafrost has seismic consequences, besides the odd anthrax outbreak. That's if you have trouble, up with a supernatural rift in the earth. I could give you a dissertation on the gateway, but if you have trouble with it, just go right like this. There are more details in your codex if you want extra credit. You've reached the outpost. Hurrah! Resupply and prepare yourself before venturing back into the wild. You've earned a respite, but don't go turning lazy on me. We still have loads of work to do. Bad news. The gateway attracts many visitors, but not all of them are welcome. Some of the nanites traveling through your area have reported their food being stolen. Very unusual, especially in winter. Before I go jump into conclusions about poachers and mammoth pirates, can you see if this is an animal problem? Like a wave of lynx, hungry ground bear. Check around you for traps. Which is a big foot. What the f are those? Chuchunya? Or as you may call him, Bigfoot? Fignya, I say. This is a joke, right? You're playing a prank on me, like on TV. Where are the hidden cameras? We don't have time for this. You didn't make the tracks, did you? Well, if you didn't make those tracks, I need you to find out who did. So, I guess you're tracking Chuchunya now. I've seen a lot of weird crap out here, but this is a first. Find more tracks so we can team up the police. Chuchunya. But remember, you're a hunter, not a commander. If you encounter poachers or pranksters, do not engage them. Seriously. And so that'll be good. After this one, we'll quit. Don't engage the bears either. Trust me. Yeah, not until you get the proper weapon. So we'll end up right here. So see, these are three easy missions that can give you a tremendous build up in cash. Hey there. Now if he turns dark red, I know I got him. There it goes. That ain't it. Anthrax deer. More Fignia? There is no Trishunia, no Bigfoot. Someone is pulling our leg and stealing people's food. I will file a report on this nuisance with the police. Keep one eye on your backpack until we catch the criminal. Keep one eye on your backpack, she's cute. She's adorable. She's adorable. Enough to Junior Fignia. I need you to track on another weather station inside the permafrost crater. Look in the place marked on your hunter mate. Uh. the Tutuna tracks. I think they disappeared really. So there you go my friends. That's uh, that's pretty good there to uh, get all that money too man. It helps. This this I like Medvitaega. It's got more 
<coughs> beautiful side missions <coughs> so we'll do this and later we'll do that one later so this is the Bigfoot thing it was a little long stream but them kind of missions there made it made it worthwhile and we'll go over here and see if this thing's dead but thanks for watching everybody I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off and we'll go look for this uh, moose and I'm gonna see if she's dead but uh, thank you anyhow for watching and when we, and when we come back to part four we're going to do local weather report so thanks for watching everybody appreciate it have a good one